Hello everyone. In the last session we have seen some elements of a form. In this video we are going to continue with the new elements. But before we start a new elements we are going to quickly revise the elements which we have seen in the last session. So the form we have seen there can be form elements as well as form parameters which we can set and one submit button which is used to submit the data we have seen a xn attribute of a form tag which specify where to send the data and our two methods get as well as post to specify how we want to send the data and one more is a target which specifies where you want the output to be displayed input tags we have seen input type equal to text a password radius check boxes a select which we can specify as a select inside the select we specify options we can also choose multiple from that particular options we just need to specify here select multiple equal to multiple so the output would be something like this we can select multiple from the options so this was it we have seen these five elements in the last session and we are going to continue in the form only next element which we are going to see is a text area text area is nothing but nothing but the multi line text input uh, uh we have input type equal to text but that is only a single line but for example we want to have input from the user their address then we cannot specify the address in a single line so we need a multi line control for that it is a different ad element only the different tag not a input type kind of a tag uh, input type equal to text is a single line whereas this is a different tag itself text area it is not input type equal to text area which is the general mistake students may are making they are writing input type equal to text area but it is not the correct way to write a text area instead you have to write a separate tag named text area with the text area tag you can specify number of rows you want as well as number of columns you want using the attribute rows and columns and the output of this particular tag would be something like this whatever you are going to write inside the text area element in our case we are writing some about darshan institute of engineering and technology whatever you are going to write in between text area and a closing text area will be displayed inside the text area if we do not specify anything here it would be blank and user can write whatever they want to write let's see an example this is the same example we have seen in the last session where input type equal to text password radios with the same name check boxes and a select here if we want to specify a text area we can simply write text area starting tag and a closing text area just we need to write this much let's see an output for this it will be something like this whatever we are going to write here will be displayed and it is a multi line but if we want to specify a rows for example we want to uh, have a five row element we just need to specify rows equal to five so the output would be of a five line and if you want to specify columns we can specify columns like 30 so it would be of 30 columns so this is the text area it is not again i am repeating it is not input kind of a element it is not input type equal to text area it is not possible it won't display a text area because input type equal to text area doesn't exist the text area is a separate element or a tag which we need to write ready next are buttons there are mainly three kinds of button in html 
one is a submit button then uh, a normal button and a reset button to submit the form we need a submit button let's see an example for, uh, before we see some theory for example i want to submit this data again it is input kind of a data input type equal to submit when we write input type equal to submit we are specifying when the user click this button i want all this data to be transferred to the server ready so to specify when to transfer the data we need a button and that button is a submit button submit button is used to submit the data to the form xn url we have specified xn here which we are going to see in the next so the example is simple input type equal to submit and you can also specify value to that button for example we haven't specified a value here we just specify input type equal to submit and in the output you can see a button named submit but if you want to specify uh, something here inside submit instead of submit for example you want to uh, write add student because you have written a form to add a student so it would be better if there is written a add student to specify that you can write one attribute to the input which is a value and inside the value you can write add student so the button will, uh, will be renamed and it will be it will display add student in our case we have written add city so it will display add city okay. now when i click the submit button what should happen where the data should be transferred and how the data should be transferred for that as we have already seen an attribute to the form element we need to specify xn here where i want to transfer this data for example i want to transfer this data to abc.php file it doesn't exist as of now but we want this form to be submitted to abc.php so we have written xn equal to abc.php after refreshing the page when i submit the button the page will be redirected to the abc.php as you can see here the page is uh, redirected to abc.php and one more thing when we want to transfer the data to the uh, other page using form we have to specify name for example here i am writing username input type equal to text name equal to username that specify the name of this particular input which is username same way for the password i am specifying same way we have already specified the name of uh, to the uh, radios here i am specifying name equal to for example pizza only we are specifying right and here we cannot specify name here we have to specify in the select tag so i am specifying name equal to again gender select ready so let's refresh the page and submit the data again i'm specifying my secret password here you cannot see that password i'm specifying pizza and pasta and a female and add student when i click on this particular button the page will be redirected to abc.php with a query string we call it as a query string this is our actual url because we have specified abc.php we have specified a relative path which we have seen in a image how we can specify a relative path because as of uh, we as we have see uh, we want to have this abc.php in the same folder as form.html so we need not to write a full path we simply can write abc.php which doesn't exist as of now just to uh, see 
where we want to put this particular file we want to put abc.php file inside our class demos which is the same as form.html so the data will be passed to abc.php but as we haven't specified how we want to transfer the data by default it would be a get method and get method will pass the data in a query string so this is our actual url url to our file then a question mark after question mark a parameter or input value for example username whatever we are going to write inside this text box the value will be displayed here then a end which separates two uh, different inputs then password my password which you cannot see because it was password but here you can see my password because we are going to use a get method then gender is on pizza on pasta is on and gender select would be female so these all the parameters of our form will be transferred in a query string in a get method because we haven't specified anything but if we you specify a method as a post the data won't be displayed back for example i'm uh, filling the form and submitting the form the page will be redirected to the abc.php but we cannot see the data which was transmitted actually in the post it would be transferred in a, inside the header instead of a url so if you still want to see we can see for example i want to pass the data to first.html using the post method so we can start a developer tools where we can see the data how the data was transferred again i'm passing the data and select and submitting the form the page was redirected to first.html means our form data is submitted to first.html and we can see the form data here so if we are specifying a method as a post the data was transferred in the headers if we specify method as a get the data will be transferred with the query string it means in a url ready so this was all the input tags again we are quickly revising all the inputs which is a text password gend uh, radio checkbox then a drop down list a select multiple select text area and submit button